Hey everybody, welcome back to dansfera.com again. It's dansfera.com as well as fairrealestate.com. It's been a while since I've done these book reviews, but that doesn't mean I haven't been reading. I've been reading constantly, like two books a month, sometimes three. I'm just behind on these videos, but I'm, I've kept my promise of my New Year's resolution this year was to read one book a month, and I'm well beyond that. I'm like at two or three books per month. So this book, and I'm trying to do all these under one minute, is Not Fade Away, A Short Life Well Lived. It's written by Lawrence Shames and Peter Barton. And it's one of the best books I've read maybe ever. It's really quick read. I read it in like a few days. It's only 100, uh, 224 pages. But basically it's the story of Peter Barton. It's his life story. He was a very successful entrepreneur in the media industry. He founded Liberty Media. If you don't know Liberty Media, they created shows like BET, Discovery Channel, like 30 other channels when he, he got successful when cable TV took off, which is kind of very similar to what's going on with social media now, but that's a topic for another day. This book, you need to read it. It's going to make you appreciate life a lot more. It's going to make you, I believe, live a more meaningful life. I'm glad I read this book when I'm relatively young. I'm 33. Um, I mean, it's this, this is that important of a book. It could be life-changing for you. Basically, Peter was diagnosed with a deadly form of stomach cancer um, in his late 40s or early 50s. I can't remember, but he died really young. And this book is written in his dying months, along with co-author Lawrence Shames, who basically befriended him in order to write this book. <clears throat> so it's like there's like a tons of emotional parts in the book, but it talks about his life story prior to getting diagnosed with cancer. I mean, he's like this really free spirit, wild, uh, highly ambitious. And then when he gets diagnosed with cancer, you would think that uh, he would lose some of his uh, zest for life, but he doesn't. He he does for a little while. He he explains it. Of course, he's it's shocking to have to come face to face with the realization that you're gonna die and the great life that he built and he, uh, his wife and his three kids I believe uh, are going to be um, not able to have a father but the way he even looked at having cancer as just a part of life's process I mean everything about this book uh, is in line with like living in the moment and making the most out of life and a short life well lived is the subtitle of this book so it reminds me a lot of Zorba the Greek it's, it's I, I recommend it for any entrepreneur but anyone in general I mean especially you entrepreneurs it's gonna help you a lot with empathy and with understanding what's really important in life and yeah business is important making money is important entrepreneurship is important but there's so much more to life than just that and you want to be living in the moment and in the present for whatever it is that you're doing at work just like Zorba the Greek said which is going to be my next re book review when you're at work you're living in the moment thinking about work when you're at home you're living in the moment thinking about your family so this book very similar life-changing emotional very important very quick read 10 out of 10 fantastic story fantastic man I've never heard of him before this book but I'm glad I did. Thanks for watching. Let me know your thoughts. DanSfera.com and SferaRealEstate.com. Take care.